Okay, everybody, welcome to this uh, short video on the uh, PCM80 editor version 1.0 from Synthesis. Um, as you can see, you've got the main interface here. Uh, it comes as a standalone um, editor and librarian for Windows and Mac. Um, first thing to mention straight away is it only works for the standard 10 algorithms that are in the hardware um, as is. It doesn't currently work for any of the pitch effects or dual effects expansion cards that you can get for it. Just need to make that clear up front. Um, so we can, this is the main interface, obviously you can swap, uh, well after you've set up the MIDI here, you've got the MIDI setup buttons here, help buttons here for various sections. That'll give you specific, section specific help information, which is quite useful. You can do some program changes here or bank changes. When we do a program, we'll do a program change, a bank change now. Like that, and you can see that as the algorithm is detected, the entire diagram changes with all the all the relevant parameters on it. That feeds into the reverb section, which you can get here. Then you've got all your reverb settings here. You've got all your patching, or your mod matrix is another way of putting this patching, basically. Zero to nine, ten patches, uh, source and destination to modulate different, various different parts of the of the parameters in the patch. You've got a common and system section. Again, all the common stuff, all the system parameters, all that good stuff. Uh, so if we tweak, let's say we've just tweaked, tweaked this patch, we want to save it. We just hit the save patch to disk. Uh, name it what you like, I'll just keep it as the same. Hit save. Um, if we then do a program change back again to is it prime blue, no, something else. M echoes and B, okay. And then we want to load up our saved patch. We'll just find it wherever we put it. What do we call it? Can't remember. Oh, there it is. That one there. Double click that. And that one, there we go, that gets loaded into the editor like that. Um, just to note that the um, the screen of the, the LCD on the hardware will still say the previous patch, but it has been loaded into its edit buffer. It's just a feature of the PCM80 hardware that it doesn't update the LCD screen, and there's no way of doing it. But uh, rest assured, it has been changed. Um, what else is there to say? Not much else, really.